Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of Governor-elect the Honorable Pat McCrory and Mrs. Ann McCrory, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the advancing of the colors, and the playing of the national anthem. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for the lives of Ann and Pat McCrory, our governor-elect and his wife. Walk closely with them these next four years. Protect them from ill will and discouragement. For Governor McCrory, continue to remind him of his calling to serve people for their needs to be met, not to use people for his own needs to be met. Let him not worry about anything. But in everything with great thanksgiving, always lay his burdens upon you in prayer. Allow his desires to be fully and solely met in you, the God in whom he trusts. As he seeks you daily, let him always do justice and love mercy for the citizens of this great state, as he also walks humbly with his God. Consume him with a heart to love you fully and to love all North Carolina citizens as he loves himself. Guard his marriage. Keep him and Anne very close. Don't let them tolerate any temptation, especially the one to see themselves as anything but your chosen children, endowed with a special position and calling to serve others. Let their love increase these next four years and beyond. And for Pat's beloved Anne, I pray this special prayer that you will keep her heart strong in you. May she find your causes, especially among those who are most vulnerable and needy in North Carolina to express your heart of compassion and grace for them. May her position, presence, privilege, and power be used to shine lights in areas of hurt and need not otherwise noticed. May she encourage all of us to serve, not be served, and to give our lives away to those who may need us the most. I speak enormous blessings over Pat and Ann, praying with great hope that four years from now, North Carolina will have thousands more with jobs thousands more children who are better educated, an economy that is booming and thriving, 
a state undivided, citizens filled with hope, a state that is a shining star and example for all other states throughout our great nation, who will see what can happen when those who are chosen to govern live and serve its citizens and make decisions rooted in your principles alone. I pray this prayer, yearning for liberty and justice for all, for your glory and your glory alone, our great God, in the name of the one I personally know as Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We will now conduct the transfer of the seal of the state of North Carolina, presided by Justice Paul Newby. Governor Perdue and Governor-elect McCrory, please proceed to the seal. The great seal of the state of North Carolina is as old as the state itself, dating back to our 1776 Constitution. Our current Constitution provides there shall be a seal of the state which shall be kept by the governor and used by the governor as occasion may require. The Great Seal is perhaps the best known representation of the constitutional power and authority of the state of North Carolina. And now in keeping with its nature, it will be transferred by outgoing Governor Perdue to incoming Governor McCrory. Governor McCrory, with this Great Seal of the state of North Carolina, I hereby transfer to you the powers and duties as Chief Executive Officer of the great state, the greatest state in America, and may God bless you in the months and the years ahead as you and Ann serve North Carolina's people as their governor and leader of this great state. Thank you, Governor Perdue. I accept this great seal of the state of North Carolina and the powers and duties that it represents I hereby promise to fulfill the duties of the governor of North Carolina and to fairly and justly use these powers entrusted to me to enable the people of North Carolina to be the very best that they can be. May we all working together be a beacon of hope and progress for our nation and of course for our great state. I would like to invite the Honorable Sarah Parker and Mrs. McCrory to the front for the swearing in of North Carolina's Governor-elect, Mr. Pat McCrory. Do you, Patrick Lloyd McCrory, solemnly and sincerely swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States? that you will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of North Carolina and to the constitutional powers and authorities which are or may be established for the government thereof, and that you will endeavor to support, maintain, and defend the constitution of said state, not inconsistent with the constitution of the United States, to the best of your knowledge and ability. And do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully perform the duties pertaining to the officer of governor of North Carolina to which you have been elected according to the best of your knowledge and ability, according to law, so help you God. I do. Congratulations and all good wishes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellency Patrick Lloyd McCroy, Governor of the Great State of North Carolina. Thank you. Thank 
y'all very much. Thank you. We'll just make a few comments. Please seat. Um, this is quite an honor and privilege. I first want to thank the governor and her husband, Bob, for just graciousness during this transition. And thank you for your leadership and your public service over the past 20 years. Please give the governor a round of applause. To Chief Justice, Justice Newby, my fellow Ragsdale High School graduate, to my wonderful wife, Anne, my family, and to the leaders of this state. Our goal was not to get a title. Our goal was to lead and to govern and to serve with a purpose. And that's what we're going to begin doing today. We're going to have some tough work ahead of us, but we all love our state and we care for the next generation of leaders for our state so they have the same quality of life that we've enjoyed for so many years. Let us all work together and let us not, never forget our purpose. May God bless each one of you. I ask for your prayers. I ask for you to pray for Ann and myself. And may God continue to bless our great nation and may God continue to bless the state of North Carolina. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the swearing-in ceremony for our North Carolina Governor, the Honorable Pat McCrory. Please rise, if you are, for the departure of Governor and Mrs. McCrory.